Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are in the second dungeon of the game, Dodongo's Cavern. And so as soon as you enter, you want to pick up one of the bomb flowers on either side and then go lay it next to that funny looking wall right here. Any walls that look like that are bombable, so you'll see a nice overview of what the dungeon looks like. So once that cinema thing is done, you want to head forward and Navi will yell at you just to let you know that there is lava around. Um, so this is a good cue to equip your Hylian shield if you haven't done it yet. If you are wearing your Deku shield, you will I guarantee you, you will probably burn it throughout this dungeon because there are several enemies that breathe fire that will burn it. And there's also lava and if you touch it then you will burn it as well. So you want to head to the left side. You can either jump on the platforms in the middle to get there or you can run along the side and you can um, climb up the ladder at the back of the area, which is what I did. So. And once you get up here, then you want to lay a bomb flower down near this bombable looking wall, and then go open the large chest to get to the dungeon map. So, let's quickly got that out of the way so that we can quickly find our way around, and uh, now we're ready to tackle the dungeon. So, now we're going to head to the opposite side, so this time I take the platform route. And here you'll see there's a new enemy here in the middle, and it is a called a Beemos. And these statues are alive, they kind of like look around slowly. And uh, if they see you, they will shoot laser beams at you. Um, very medieval of this game, isn't it? Um, so you can only defeat them right now with uh, bomb flowers. Um, so you want to pick up one of them, and you want to sh kill this one right in front of us. So just Z-target it and toss a bomb flower at it, and they blow up to themselves, as you'll see. So then there is a so there's a bombable wall over here. So you want to pick up a bomb flower and then lay it in front of this door as well. So now head on through, and uh, in here you'll see this little corridor. There's another new enemy called um, Baby Dodongos. And these little guys, uh, they kind of jump at you, and then they will crawl in and out of the dirt. Um, so here's another one right here. And you can technically use this one to get a gold scatula here in a little bit, but uh, we're going to save that for a little bit. But anyways, you'll notice that when you kill them, they will explode just like bombs. So you want to avoid being too close to them after you kill them. So you want to head forward, jump up that little ledge, and then over here you want to go through the door, so you step on the switch, and yay, it opens the door, but as soon as you step off, it closes the door again. So you need to pick up one of these statues, whatever, drag it over, and put it on top of the switch, and this will hold it down so that you can go through the door. Classic Zelda puzzle, I tell you. Classic. So now, climb up here, and head through the door. And then here you'll see some keys, right up against the side. Keys, keys, we you pronounce that. And so, trying to let them hurt you. I got a little too close there. And uh, you can shoot them with your slingshot so you don't have to deal with them, and then head through the next door. And oh no, there's another new enemy already. In this room you're locked in with two Zalfos. And these uh, lizard enemies, they jump around. And when they're jumping they are invulnerable, so you want to... Um, you want to resist the urge to stab them while they're jumping because it will not work. So they'll take turns attacking you, and uh, so you want to smack them all up and then just be ready to use your shield in case they jump at you or start slashing the sword. So uh, so now the other one's going to take his turn and uh, getting a little fed up with fighting him at this point, so I'm going to try and kill him quickly. So you'll notice I whipped out a Deku Stick, and uh, Deku Sticks, they add one damage to your next attack, so uh, this will do two damage to him if I just smack him with him right regular like this. See, I did a jump attack, so that does uh, two damage because it's a jump attack, and then one more damage because it's a Deku Stick, so that does three total damage. So now if you got hurt at all or whatever, then just slash open some of those jars, and then head to the next open door. So in this next room, you'll see there's a funny looking wall here, and so I'm going to go blow it up just to show you that you can, but uh, I'm not going to go in there. What's in there is um, some business scrubs, and they sell um, Deku sticks, because we're going to need to light some torches here in a little bit. So blow that up. Woo! And so now there's a there's another new enemy here, just plain Dodongos. And uh, I tried to throw a bomb at him, it didn't really work, he moved. But um, 
these guys, what you want to do is you want to lure them to attack like that, so they breathe fire. You don't want to get part their fire breathe at you. Then you want to go smack his tail. That's the only place that he's vulnerable. And then uh, they're quickly get out of the way because they swing around like that, and if their tail hits you, then it hurts a lot. So quickly move out of the way. They're easiest to just z-target them and then just keep going back and forth. If you can do jump attack, which does uh, twice as much damage, uh, but you'll see that they blow up too when they're killed. They have a nice big explosion. So here's another one over here. Smack it, and then get out of the way. Now the other way to hurt them is to just shoot them with your slingshot. You have to wait until, like, see, watch as he wiggles back and forth. That means that he's vulnerable again. So he shoots, blah. then he goes down, and now he starts wiggling. There you go. Now he's vulnerable again. This method takes a long time, but you know you don't get hurt this way. So, whatever your preference, if you're, you know, not brave enough to tackle them, then you can get them far away if you really want to. So here I'm trying to jump attack him, and it just keeps not working, so finally I just give up and attack him like regular. Gotta kinda get pretty far back so you don't accidentally hit the top of his armor, sort of, so to speak. So now, uh, once they're all dead, then you want to head back towards the beginning of this area, and you'll see there's one lit torch. So go light a Deku stick, and then uh, go light all the three torches. They're just straight in a line right here. And after this, slash your sword, just conserve the Deku stick, and then head through the door. So here there's a switch on the ground, you want to go step on it, and this will open a door across the way. And so now we're going to head over there. So just ignore the Beemos. You can't... It's really a pain to try and kill him. You can, uh, you know, run with a uh, bomb flower and then kill him, but it's really not worth it. He just reappears every time you enter the room anyway, so I just say run past him. Head through this door, and then in here, uh, we can actually... This room looks awful suspicious, and we'll get to this in a moment. So um, there's a bombable wall here, so pick up a bomb flower and go set it in front of it and then go through the door that is revealed. Boom! Alright, so once you enter this next room, you'll see there's another new enemy. This dungeon is just full of new enemies. Uh, but this is an Armos. There's two ways to kill them. Uh, they're normally not vulnerable to your sword, so you can either wake them up, and you can either throw a bomb at them, or you can stun them with a Deku Stick, and then they're vulnerable to your sword. So right there, I, I use a jump attack. I don't think it really matters. A regular, just regular slash will do the same thing. Uh, but anyways, that's how you kill them, and uh, so then go open the big chest, and you will get the compass. So now we will see where all the chests and hidden goodies are at in this dungeon. Um, so that's the item we came into this room for. Uh, those other two statues are not real, or not alive anyways. So that's it for this video. Join me for the next one, and I'll see you then.